So now we're going to be looking at moving and resizing. Let me just zoom in again and we can see it nice and clearly. So on the left hand side, today what we're going to do is move basically a box from left to right. But there are some little tricks that we can use to make sure that when we do move it, it moves in a single plane to be exactly where we want. The next thing we're going to do is look at transforming something, making it bigger, but also transforming it so it doesn't look all weird. Um, and then we do that by holding down shift. The next thing we want to do is learn how to rotate something. Um, that's very, very easy, but there is a nice way of doing it so it's exactly straight. We want to try and remove any error that we do. So what we want to do first is we're just going to move over to the green box here. So if I move over to move here and then rounded rectangle, oh, not sure which one that is. So if you remember from the other video, we can actually turn that on and off to find out what it is. So let's press V now, and V is the shortcut for this tool here, top left hand corner, which is the move tool. Very, very useful. Something before I want to check, just before we go any further, is make sure that auto select is turned off. It is very useful if you want to be able to click it and then be able to sort of select a layer just by clicking on it. But with Photoshop, often we have many layers. So if you're clicking on it, you might select the wrong one. My advice, just keep that turned off for now. From here, we want to move this from left to right. So making sure I've got move selected, I'm going to click and hold and you can see it's not perfectly moving all right so we need to undo that so I'm just gonna press edit and move backwards or step backwards alternative you can do alt shift and Z or option command and Z if you're on a, a Mac so this time when I move it I'm gonna hold down shift and it will move in one line now you can see what's happened there we're actually moving the entire group so just make sure you always have the layer that you want to move now I can move my box okay so if you have the whole group selected you'll move everything um, but if you have the individual layer you'll just move that one so just try that yourself holding down shift and moving it either up or down I have like that and you can even go left and right like this very very useful okay this one is transform something we use a lot so I'm just going to go down to yellow box now. Okay, so the idea is we need to make it bigger. So there's a number of ways we can do that. We can go the boring way, edit and free transform, or we can do control and T, command and T if you're on a Mac. So command and T, and that brings up this. Now each of these boxes is called an anchor point, and now you can actually make things bigger from each one of those anchor points like this. Now I've got to say that very very rarely do we use the ones top, bottom, left or right and the reason for that is we want to change the size of things and keep it the same ratio. As soon as we start to change the ratio people's faces look like they've been squashed or squished so it's best to always make sure you go from the corners like this. So let's hold down shift again and let's see what happens. Ah, look at that. It keeps the aspect ratio perfect. I can even go down this way as well. But you'll see that it keeps it very, very, very nice. Now the reason I've got a rounded rectangle tool is to show you what happens if we go like this. Now you'll see that the circles are towards the edge, the rounded edges, start to look a bit warped. Not cool. So we're going to keep that nice and steady. Now I've done a bit of messing around now, so I need to sort of go back to where I was before. To do that, I press escape. So if you're not sure and you've gone, oh, what have I done now? Just press escape. It will take you back to where you were before. Great, so let's try that again, but a bit neater. So control and T, holding down shift and making it bigger. Beautiful. Now you'll see that up top here, we've got a circle with an arrow going through it. So I'm sort of finish what you're doing or basically um, doing escape and you also got a tick and that we need to finish what we're doing Anytime you see this here means you're doing something so you need to finish what you're doing Now we could go all the way up there and click it, but that gets boring. So press control and enter 
Control and Enter is a great little way of finishing off what you're doing and we'll cover that when we're doing text as well. So just give that a try, try resizing it, Control and T and just going up and down and then Control and Enter. So try that for a few times. Let's move down to our picture, so I'm just going to hold down space again, hoping that you're getting used to that by now. Right, now, as you can see, we can't read this. We want to be able to read this little text here. But before we go any further, let me just show you the resizing and the effect of doing it wrong on a picture. So I'm going to press Command and T again, and I'm just going to move around. Now, can you see how you sort of making her grow a bit of weight? She's getting fatter. And let's face it, ladies, we don't want to do that to you. So we need to make sure that when you're resizing, you only do it from the corners with shift held down. Okay? And that will keep everything nice and similar. Right. So what we need to do now is we need to be able to rotate this. Now, something that's very important with Photoshop is the cursor. The cursor tells you many things. So right now, it's telling me that it's on move. If I click and hold, and I can move things around. If I go here, it can tell me I can make that bigger. If I move all the way out, it changes to something completely different. And that, my friends, is the rotate tool. All right. So we can move that around. Now let's just press escape to go back where we were. All right. So it's now time for you to try this with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to do control and T. And then we're going to move our mouse outside of the picture. But this time, we're going to hold down shift. And you'll see what effect that has. It moves it in sort of 15%. All right? And that allows me to go right around like that and keep it nice and straight. Very, very useful. So try that yourself. And then press Control and Enter when you're done. I just want to show you one last thing before we go anywhere. And this is a thing that confuses a lot of people. Control and T again to resize. Now, what a lot of people do is they go right in the middle of the picture and they move that. And they go, why is that not working? And the reason is we've moved the anchor point. Right? Now, watch what happens if I start to, to actually move the, uh, the picture around. Watch what happens. Can you see how it starts to move around that anchor point? Now, that can be very, very useful. And I can actually move that around and it will change. It can be very useful, but often it makes people quite confused. So Control and T, if you are wanting to move something around, just click off center, not directly in the middle. Then you're not changing the anchor point. All right, so hopefully that means you won't get so confused and enjoy moving and resizing. <laughs>